Hey friends, Donovan here with Ernie Williamson Music. I have, I've, I've done a review on these uh, Lotus Silver Flares before. Uh, really love this horn, but I just got another one in and thought like, hey, what the heck, like let's, even though I've done this before, like I can, I'll do it again. <laughs> and uh, uh, just because I think, oh God, these Lotus Trumpets, they're real hot right now. They're super hard to get. They tend to sell really fast whenever I do finally get them. Uh, and they're just exceptional, exceptional instruments. So the Silver Flare is a really unique beast. So it's a, an oversized five and a half inch bell with the bell flare being 100% uh, sterling silver. So it's, it's actual silver. It's not silver plate or whatever, like it's actual silver. And then the bell tail is, is, ye is yellow brass. And working with pure silver like that's very difficult, it's obviously very expensive because silver is very expensive. And then the rest of the horn is, is similar to many other Lotus instruments. So, you know, nickel silver lead pipes, you got a medium weight bronze receiver, uh, maw valves, uh, uh, the Lotus trumpets come with two tuning slides. This is the phosphor bronze, which gives you a little more of kind of that ooey gooey sound. Uh, and then this one also came with a nickel silver, which gives you more zing and pop. Now, um, the silver flares are very interesting. They, the sound that the pure silver gives you, it adds in more of like that warm and juicy kind of overtones. But when pushed just a little bit, it still has like this little bit of brilliance on the top. So you think maybe being silver, maybe be like, like super bright or whatever. It's, that's not it. It's not like just a, a lead only horn. You can certainly play lead with this horn, but it's actually a very rich sound. Look, listen to Marcus Printup playing on this horn, frankly, for a far better demonstration of what it can do than the crap you're getting ready to hear me play. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's a really versatile instrument. I love the way it sounds. I've always kind of enjoyed um, uh, the, the solid silver bell instruments. Uh, I also have a Bach vintage one, or oh my gosh, a Con vintage one that has a uh, solid silver bell, and those are great horns too. Uh, but there's just a richness to the sound that is maybe a little hard to quantify in words, but when you hear it, you can immediately tell like, oh yeah, there's a depth to it. Depth may be the best way to describe it that you really can't get otherwise. So available at erniewilliamson.com uh, if you want one, at least as of the time I'm recording this video, it's available. Who knows when you're watching it if we'll have one available or not. Uh, but yeah, uh, this one's in raw brass and uh, love the, the, the little abalone finger inlays. Sorry, the lighting's a little wonky here, uh, but just really great. So right now I've got, uh, what do I have in here? I have a lead mouthpiece that's in here. Uh, so I don't normally start with the high note stuff, but whatever, we're going to do it. Uh, and um, I'll let you kind of hear that sound. I'll swap tuning slides so you can hear that. And then I'll switch over to a, a, a more C-cut mouthpiece so you can hear the difference there. Should give you the warning that I've not warmed up or practiced or anything. I just grabbed this horn. I'm doing this review. I did a flugel review a couple minutes ago, and now this. So I would probably frack some of these notes either way. <laughs> I love that I'm giving you like oh, I'm warmed up. No, I probably miss some notes no matter what. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, obviously like a great like presence to the sound, um, but it doesn't have that like <sighs> sound that a lot of uh, lead trumpets will have. It just has like this thickness to it. And that's like playing a, a lead mouthpiece. It's not the shallowest lead mouthpiece uh, out there. I, I, uh, I have other ones that are even shallower, but um, you know, similar to like maybe a Lotus S cup or um, maybe like a 13A4A or something like that. Okay, and now here's with the nickel silver slide. So with that, I hear just an addition to my dog howling, which he's been doing that uh, for both videos, which is a little annoying. Uh, but anyway, I'm hearing more of those upper overtones. Uh, just right off the bat, and there's also like, I feel like the slots just got a little bigger. Like I feel like the slots for each note right where I need them to be. Maybe I should play with this slide all the time. <laughs> I 
Yeah. I mean, that's for me, that's, that's pretty, pretty accurate, kind of cold out of the gate without any kind of warm up. You know, he, and don't worry, like, his, his ears are not being hurt. He will come from the other side of the house to come join me. I think he just likes to sing along. So he, he literally, like, no matter where he is, once I start playing, he immediately runs up here and starts doing this. So, and he's not, like, pawing at me to get me to stop or something. He's, I think he's joining in. So, okay, now I'm switching back over to a C-cut mouthpiece um, and still keep the phosphor bronze slide in. So what I'm hearing is a focused sound with less of the high overtones. And there's a richness to the sound um, that is uh, uh, hard to uh, define if you've not played an instrument with a solid silver bell. Uh, okay. Get these bad boys in there. Now I'm back to the phosphor bronze tuning slide. Yeah, so more of just the ooey gooey nap sound. sounds uh you know imagine you playing it'd be even better i'm sure i'm definitely no adam rapper but this horn just really really sounds great i've got a big band gig tonight i might take this tonight instead of what i usually play uh and play this because this sounds really nice i'm playing second trumpet this would be a great sound for that second second trumpet spot. So if you'd like to get one of these for yourself, you should go check me out at erniewilliamson.com. Uh, and I, uh, if you like these videos, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. But the main way you can support us is by buying stuff from me. So, uh, <laughs> but if not, just watching it's cool too. I hope that you find that this was informative and useful, somewhat helpful, and maybe slightly entertaining. Uh, as always, friends, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.